Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Samsung Galaxy S10's hidden screen recording feature. So let's jump right into it. So what I want you to do is the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the settings, all right? And then you want to go into the advanced features right over here and then scroll down and make sure that the game launcher is enabled. Now the game launcher activates a screen recording mode that is designed to record gameplay. But there's a trick where you can start to use it for other applications as well and that's the way you do it. So what I'm gonna show you guys is now, once you enable the game launcher, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to access a, a mode known as the game launcher mode. You can go into your uh, app drawer and just search for the game, just type in game, and you are gonna see the game launcher. When you tap on it, all your games are bundled into it. Now, as you can see, we have Temple Run, we've got Relic Run, we've got all these games, and then we have Instagram for some reason. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding other applications into the game mode to start using the screen recording mode. Now, before we do that, let me show you how the screen recording actually works. So if I launch a game right now, let me just launch Temple Run right over here. So when you launch the game, what's gonna happen is at the bottom in the status bar, you have two new options. One option is just to lock the screen. If you tap on this, it's gonna lock the screen. But the other option here gives you even more options. So the key uh, option here is the record and the screenshot option. So record is, if I tap on record right now, it's going to actually start to record the gameplay. So if I click on play, uh, the game starts and I can uh, start playing. And believe it or not, the game is actually being recorded, okay? So we're just gonna X this out. I'm gonna click on uh, stop. Once you start to record gameplay, you have to uh, tap on this button stop the recording and then it says watch recorded video which you can do that as well but if you don't want to watch it right then and there what you do is you go into your gallery right over here and it's going to be saved right over here so it's going to be saved as your as your latest video file right in your gallery so if i tap on this one this is exactly what i just recorded a couple seconds ago okay so as you saw i clicked on play the game starts and i just die so that's normal so what you can do now that's how you record gameplay okay so let me kill that game so what you want to do now is you want to go back into the actual game launcher and all you want to do is tap on this button here and then click on add apps and interestingly enough you are able to add any app that you want over here from your downloaded application so in my case i just added instagram you can uh, install voice recorder walmart whatever so if you want to make a tutorial about any of these available applications you can easily do that or just record something and send it to somebody. Uh, maybe you need help with something on a, on a particular application. You can start using this option. So let me show you. So if I click on, for example, Best Buy on Tutu, and if I tap on a, a Crunchyroll, I can click on Add. And now these apps are right over here. When I launch this application, for example, if I launch uh, on Tutu Benchmark, you're going to see the same options at the bottom here. Okay, so if I tap on this one, I can actually start to record the gameplay. So if I tap on record, it starts the uh, recording, and then I can go to my device, go back, tap on uh, stress test, all right? And I can test it, and I can do feature test. Again, all these things are being recorded right now. So when you, the recording is done, you click on uh, stop over here, and it says watch recorded video, you can tap on it. But if not, you go to the gallery, and it's gonna be right here. So everything I just did was recorded for the uh, on Tutu benchmark application, okay? The same exact thing, all right, let's go home real quick. Let me go back to the game launcher, right over here. So the same exact thing applies to Instagram. If I go to Instagram right over here, go to home, all right, and I tap on this button here, I can start recording, all right? So as you can see, I can go over here, tap on anything, go back, tap on this, go back, all right? Uh, and then when I click on stop, Again, go to the gallery, and that video is going to be the latest video right over here. Okay, click on play, and everything that I just did is playing exactly as it would, and it's playing very uh, smooth with no lag, okay? 
Fantastic. So that's how you enable the secret recording feature for other apps other than actual games. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. I'm going to be looking for methods that allow you to record everything on your phone as well. And there's going to be a video coming for that as well. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. If you're wondering what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy S10, see the link in the description box down below. This is an official Samsung case and it's a fantastic case. So check the links below and now let's move on. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.